Hello friends, this is Scott and Mr. Lincoln back at the Project Garden and it is middle of November. We've already had our first freeze here at the Project Garden several, well, probably a week and a half ago. Still haven't, I guess I, I did have a freeze last night at my, my home garden. But I've been meaning to get over here to plant the garlic and I need to get over to my house and show you an update on that garlic and the, that I planted in the raised bed quite a while ago. But I'm finally getting over here. This is the latest I've ever planted garlic. Uh, and, and so we'll see how it all goes. Uh, see how it comes up in the, in the spring by delaying it so late. Now this is the garlic head. I just, I'm nothing fancy. I just go to this grocery store and I buy the soft neck varieties that they have in the grocery store. And what I do, simply as this, is I just break them open, pull the bulbs off, and you end up with all these individual little bulbs. Okay, you have a root side down, and the pointy side up and that's all you need to know you just plant them right up so that the top is covered by a little bit of soil you space them about six seven inches apart you amend the soil which I've got the amendments here that I've uh, shown you before so I'm not going to go into all that that stuff today I'm just going to show you a little bit of a time lapse I think to uh, to do the video because I've already explained the garlic planting process before but uh, garlic at my home does better in raised beds. I'm going to plant it in ground here at the Project Garden to see how it does. I assume it's going to do just fine here because the soil is, is a little bit richer and it gets more sun. So I think we should be fine. Now, again, I apologize for all the traffic noise. Uh, we're, we're right next to a busy road here, but we got to do what we got to do. Now, I just wanted to say a little thing on a personal level is I, I'm just back on my feet after a couple days. I had the shingles shots had my second shingle shots and I think it's very important to get those because that's one of the things that I've never had shingles but everybody that I hear has had them has, has really suffered from them it's a very painful thing so I got my second shot uh, put me down a little bit nothing sick just tired so I've been kind of taking it easy for the last couple days but feel better and I'm gonna get back to work and uh, I gotta finish up all these fall uh, projects in the garden now this will be the last thing I plant in the fall I don't. I think anyway. I don't think I'm going to be planting anything else. Everything else will be tearing out and getting ready for uh, for uh, overwintering and getting ready for next year. Doing a lot of pruning and, and getting the yards uh, cleaned up and the gardens cleaned up. So anyway, I'll put you a little on a time lapse, time lapse and you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I won't explain it all, but I'm just going to add these amendments to the top of the soil, rake it in, then I'm going to plant the garlic and then I'm going to uh, mulch them with leaves and that looks like what today's project's going to be. Then I'll head over to my house and I'll show you what's happening at the, uh, with the raised bed garlic that I plant every year that I have pretty good success with. So anyway, Mr. Lincoln and I are going to get busy so I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Thank you. I'm getting such a late start. I'm just in a hurry today. I'm not going to do the, the best job that I could possibly do but you know it is the middle of November and I just need to get these garlic planted. They'll be fine. And it's an experiment, you know. Sometimes, you know, you can spend a lot of time being really careful and then end up with a crappy crop. Or you sometimes you just throw stuff in and it does really well. So we'll see what this one does. Again, this is where I planted the potatoes. And uh, hopefully I've got all the potatoes out. I don't want a bunch of volunteers in here that's going to mess up my garlic. But but it's fun. It's just a quick, quick project today. I won't pick any of the vegetables. You see carrots behind me that I need to still pick. Uh, there's tons of those. I haven't processed the last ones. I I did uh, peel them, but I have not yet uh, cut them up and, and, and blanched them yet. But I'll be doing that soon, and I'll come back and get some more carrots here. But just now I'm going to mulch everything. Just I'm not going to water it. I'm just going to mulch it and let Mother Nature take its course. Well, here's the mulch bed. Nothing fancy. The homeowner had thrown a bunch of uh, leaves that he'd mowed up into the garden, so I just borrowed some from another area. And just... Uh, Keep them covered so that they don't, uh, once they freeze, I want them to continue to freeze. Now we're back at my home garden. And as you see, the garlic that I planted about a month ago or so is doing awesome. Not all of it's up yet, but uh, it's doing well. And I did mulch it in good at the time I planted it. So it's, uh, the, you know, the garlic just pushes up through the, through the hay that I put here. I'm going to dig through here, and there's still a few that aren't tall enough yet to show, but uh, there's one. As you can see, it's uh, it's still coming up. But some of them are a little slower than others, but they'll be fine. This bed should be awfully thick, and if it's not, then I'll just plant something else. I'll plant an onion or two in the in the bald spots. But but it's doing good. Last step is I'm going to hydrate the bed. I've got my uh, water collection bin from the rain gutters uh, right next to this. I don't have any active sprinklers in here during the season, and I don't definitely don't have them now because the sprinklers are off. So. 
I'm just going to hand water it and make sure it's nice and hydrated, and then that'll be it for the, uh, for the care. Just wait till next spring, and we'll be ready to go. Well, friends, this concludes the last video on garlic this year. I know you're probably getting tired of my garlic videos, but I enjoy garlic. Garlic's an easy vegetable to plant. Hey, uh, this is uh, vlog number 50. It's been I started this vlog in probably March, something like that, and I've been kind of busy this summer, so this is number 50. So if you'd like to follow my journey in living my best rural life in the city, please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share, and comment.